I was always taught, and I'm assuming it's still true, that the only source of melatonin in the brain and body is the pineal gland. Is that still true? It, yeah, it seems to be from best that we can tell. I have to imagine we have melatonin receptors in the brain and body. It's correct. Essentially, your brain has a central master 24-hour clock called the suprachiasmatic nucleus that keeps internal time. Now, it knows 24-hour time, but it needs to tell the rest of the brain and the body the 24-hour time as well. And one of the ways that it does this is by communicating a chemical signal of 24-hour ness <laughs> of light and day using this hormone melatonin. And when it is at low levels or it's non-existent, it's communicating the message, it's daytime. And for us, diurnal species, it says it's time to be awake. Yet at nighttime, when dusk approaches and the break comes off melatonin and we start to release it, then it signals to the rest of the brain and the body, look, it's dusk and it's nighttime. And for us, diurnal species, it's time to think about sleep. So melatonin essentially tells the brain and the body when it's day and when it's night. And with that, when it's time to sleep, when it's time to wake, but it doesn't really help with the generation of sleep itself. And this is why we'll come on to what those studies of supplementation have taught us. 